Hello everybody, my name is Frico Ghost and today I have for you a TDM on the map Octane. Octane is one of my favorite competitive maps of all time um, in all the Call of Duty series. I just love it all in all. Only thing I don't like is free for all turns into a thermal sniper. <sighs> Battle of the quick scopers and elitists. So, like I said, today I have for you a um, team deathmatch on Octane. Here I'm playing with a couple friends. And actually one friend joined up and he was really competitive and trying to knock me down. And I've been getting that a lot recently from a lot of my friends have uh, been dick riding me and it's kind of annoying. Can't really do much about it of course, but you know, you can always try and make your attempts and you know, just play it out. So, class I'm using here. Uh, today I decided to slap on the FAD, I don't know what that guy was doing, he was, uh, I don't know, peering into the cracks, I guess you could say. But I discovered the FAD today as I was playing Team Deathmatch, and I'm blown away by this weapon. I've probably never used anything better in Call of Duty other than the Remington or, like, the AK-12. The ACR matches up to this, but this gun is just amazing. It has long-range capabilities. It, it's quiet. It's quick. It's deadly. It's accurate. Even with its recoil, it's so on point. It, it's just a gun you can pick up and fall in love with. It's noob friendly, so I'm surprised I don't see more of it around. Alright, I'm running a uh, grip and suppressor on it, so suppressor keeps me off the map. And uh, the grip, the FAD does have a lot of uh, vertical recoil, and sometimes it's hard to control. The grip helps with that, and just pulling down on your um, right thumbstick a little bit helps. I thought I saw someone around that dumpster and it turns out I did because he just rushed up and knocked me out. Couldn't really do much. Alright, so the perks I'm using today is ready up. I'm using on the go or sprint reload. Quick draw. Dead silence. Scavenger. Focus. Alright, I'm going to explain why I'm using sprint reload. Uh, this gun has a pretty slow reload time. I don't have the exact number here for you. I'm not drifter or anything like that. But, um... This gun has a really long reload time, and sometimes when you're in a gunfight and you need to peel away, sprinting and reloading is one of the best things for you. Really helpful, really handy, and all around great tool. Uh, obviously, dead silence, I'm playing to the stealth aspect of the class here, and with the suppressor and everything. Uh, the FAD, it's got a really high fire rate, you run through your bullets quick, so you really want to keep scavenger on your class, and of course, focus. I've explained that multiple times in my videos. Crutch for a lot of Call of Duty players. I don't see. You can't go in one public match without finding at least three people. That are using and that is a fact if you really want to test me on that. Try me. Uh, the assault pack. The package I'm using here, as far as kill streaks, is the assault. I'm running the Satcom, Dog, and Battlehind. Very good kill streak set. Good for getting some higher scoring gameplays. Um, so, the past couple days I haven't uploaded a video, uh, today I finally got out my third gameplay commentary, this will be my fourth. Oh, uh, that video, I, I didn't realize what happens with YouTube when you upload an HD video, and it'll upload first in 360, and then you give it like 15-20 minutes of just sitting on one page, and then you refresh the page, it'll be in 720 or 1080p, and that really frustrated me because I stayed up a couple nights in a row just um, uploading, rendering that, and then taking it down because I saw 360p, and it, it really wasn't a YouTube error or a Sony Vegas Pro 11 error, which is what I used to edit. It was more of a, um, Enemy it, was, it was more of a human error. I, I just didn't have the patience, and I didn't understand what was going on, so I sat down and talked to a few YouTubers, and uh, they detailed to me how that worked. Something else I want to talk to you guys about here today, something a bit more solemn is, uh, helping people. There's a difference between helping people and kissing their ass. Um, and believe me, recently I've seen some people with their uh, tongue, you know, three three inches cheek deep in some people. And it's kind of frustrating when you're sitting there trying to do legit stuff and they dick ride a hacker and get, you know, bot subs. There's no point in that. It, it's just frustrating to all the people that do it legit. Sorry, guys, if you can hear any dog calling in the background. My dog's trying to hop up on my bed. Hold on, boy. Um, yeah, don't like your tail of me. Don't wink at me either. So, dick riding hackers to get to bot you subs to make it look like you're a known person, just just fuck off because 
you don't ever put um, any effort into your stuff, and and I say that ultimately. But there's a difference between helping people. The other day I was uh, talking to the leader of SNK, um, Shoot and Kill Clan. I believe that yeah, Shoot and Kill Clan, and he he needed help with his setting up his Elgato, and it, I didn't honestly even have one, but he was having a hard time, so I sat down with him, talked to him. Shotgun That's helping ready. people. I didn't ask for a shout out, anything. I got it. I did, I guess Friendly he thought I deserved it from helping him out by. Telling him to click a button on his remote, dude. <laughs> that was really funny. So, there's a difference between dick riding people and helping people. And I say dick riding because it holds a negative connotation. And it, it, it deserves to be said like that because when you do shit like that, it, it is dick riding in every sense of the word. And it's frustrating to everyone who tries. So please stop. Um, let me go back to my topic of helping people. There's nothing that feels better than when you can help someone and say I did this and um, yeah there's nothing when you can say I did this and you know I helped you and you're better because of something I did but never throw it in someone's face that's another thing you never want to throw it in the person's face when you help them find great you did a good deed you did something good you know thank you for that don't throw it in their face you'll make an enemy of that person right quick any please stop breathing on my mic. That's really weird. Thank you. Um, I had something else to talk about here, but I'm now fading swiftly. Oh shit, this is really bad. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. I'm gonna leave you guys here if I can do something on the times. Yeah, helping people. Okay, so back to SNK too. Um, they're doing a tournament in February with uh, their clan. They're holding a tournament with their clan and other people, and all the proceeds towards the buy-ins are do are going towards two different foundations. Uh, one is going to be uh, gaming for charity. I don't know if I'm saying that exactly correct. In the American Cancer Society. I've uh, donated to American Cancer Society for, you can hear my dog grunting in the background, it's pretty annoying, I'm sorry guys, but I love him. Come on Dan, you gotta hold up. So, we're donate or he's donating to American Cancer Society, it's an idea I gave to him, and I'm glad because I've donated to them before, it's a great cause, everyone's, someone, at least someone in someone's family is affected by cancer in some way, whether directly or in a secondary way, so, good cause, I hope. Some of you guys will team up and decide to go out there, help and support this team because they could really use it all in all. They're just an amazing team. So We're wrapping up here at the end of the video. My final score is going to be 32 and 10. We do win it and um, I'm pretty proud of this gameplay. I've been playing all day looking for something. So my friend Nightwolf here wraps up with the final kill and I will see you guys in commentary number five. Thank you.